I just got a new toy and I still don't know how to start the damn thing. Let's see. Yeah, I'll figure it out. What's up everybody? Welcome to Wreck the World. I'm Eddie. Behind me is my brand new uh, 1929 Model A Ford five window coupe. I picked it up from a, a friend of mine recently and it still has a stock four banger in it. I'm gonna keep that in there. I'm gonna show you how to turn this thing into a pre-war traditional style hot rod. It's easy. So this thing's pretty much all stock still. Uh, there's a few things like the interior that, you know, pretty much non-existent. There's nothing in there. So all the, you know, all the more reason to turn it into a hot rod. The less weight, the better. On that note, I'm gonna pull the fenders and the running boards off. And uh, other than that, I'm gonna keep the stock drivetrain, the stock transmission, the stock uh, wheels and tires. So here's the uh, stock four cylinder that this, this car came with and uh, I did pull the carburetor off already and rebuilt it. I've never rebuilt one of these before. They're pretty simple, but I'm still not confident. <laughs> you can see it's dripping some fuel out of there a little bit, but you know, I'll play with it. I did get this thing running. Um, it doesn't run great. I don't know how long it's been since it's ran and it's been a while because this carburetor was just all gummed up and nasty so um, but you know I got some time I'll clean it up and, and go through everything and hopefully I'll be driving this thing by the end of the day but first I'm gonna pull these fenders off so it goes way faster I'm gonna start by taking the running board off I don't really run so I don't really need it It's a lot easier if you get the right size. I did get all the bolts. Not bad. It's already like 10 pounds lighter. Pretty simple actually, it's just a few studs coming through the body. Oh, excuse me, damn. Coming through the body and uh, you just pull the nuts off the back side here. That sounds painful, pulling the nuts off. And that's it. And just pull the old fender off. Bam. And I'm not really sure how this car shows in the video. It's not like a pristine museum showpiece or anything. I mean, it has nice paint, but it's just like, eh, kind of amateur backyard looking, you know? Like there's a lot of spots that are peeling in and this and that. So that's why I'm not too worried about pulling this car apart and making it a hot rod. The frame, you know, the frame's all surface rust and everything. There's no like real cancer rust, which is good. But it's not like a show car. It's not like museum quality Model A or anything like that. It's, it's a driver. So uh, I may not even keep it green. We'll see. Like I said, it's this car is not perfect to begin with, so. 
Well, here's where we're at so far. Uh, all the fenders, well, yeah, fenders are pulled off. So this little drop down thing or the, the splash apron, I don't know what people call this thing. Um, sometimes you'll see these cars and they'll leave these on. Uh, and the reason is because they're kind of a pain in the butt to take off. <laughs> I'm gonna take them off. Basically though, it's wedged between the body and the frame. So you have to loosen the body mount bolts and just raise the body up ever so slightly and this will slide right out. So I'm gonna do that now and, and uh, see how that goes. Basically what I did was loosen all the body mount bolts on this side, uh, just enough to raise the body from the frame. And then I'm gonna just use a floor jack with a block of wood under the body just to raise it up a little bit. And this should slide out. So I'm gonna uh, jack it on up ever so slightly. Try not to bust anything, I guess. Slides out. Very, very good. So the next thing to address are these running board mounts that attach to the frame. They're basically riveted on. Um, this one's already busted. So that's not too bad, but you can just drill out these rivets or grind them off or whatever and uh, these things will pop right off just because you don't want to be you know having these things stick out all silly and popping you in the shin ow that one was already broken So I'm done taking all the fenders off. It's still super hot in here. Uh, the front and rear bumpers need to come off and that's gonna be it. And then I'll, uh, maybe I'll go try to drive this thing. Big old pile of fenders and running boards. Got the back bumper off, man. That thing was a pain in the butt. The front bumper was pretty easy. But this one bolted up and in and around the frame. I, I didn't want to cut the brackets or anything, so I unbolted everything. Woo! Look at that thing, though. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this thing pulled out, and we'll check it out. Cause by golly, we got a hot rod. Na 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 hot rod. I think it looks way better. Uh, let's check it out. I have a bit to wrap up on this. I got to get it running slightly better. And then, you know, do little things here and there. But man, man, oh man, this, uh, it's like a throwback to the early, uh, early hot rodding days there. So I'm going to play with it a little bit, get a, see if I can't get it running better and then go drive this turret around and, you know, in all its 40 horsepower glory. Well, I finally figured out how to start this silly little car. And I must say, I love the simplicity of it. Thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. I'm going to go for a cruise. Let's see here. Let me push the button and pull the thing and do its stuff, and let's try it.